Well, hello everyone and happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, April 4th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com and I'm coming to you live. And welcome, welcome, welcome. We've got lots of people joining already. So hello, hello, hello. I hope you guys are having a great day. And um, it looks like you guys are just chit-chatting away on here. So hello. How is everybody doing? Looks like you guys are having a great day, most everybody. I saw Bill, sad news. I am sorry about your friend. That is sad. I know it's always sad when you have like uh, classmates pass. I know it was so weird when I had my, I think my last reunion was in, let me see. I graduated in 1983. So, oh gosh, we're due for one this year. So let me see if I do my math. I think it's my 40th reunion this year. Oh! So we haven't had one in 10 years. So we had one in what was that, 2013? And it was so weird because they had a whole table, you know, with everybody's picture that had passed away. And it was just so weird looking at all those people thinking, wow, because I didn't even know half of them had passed away, but it was just crazy. But anyway, hey, Spice Girl, I hope you're feeling good today and got some rest. Hey, everybody, let me go through and say hello. Hey, Beth. Hey, Jody. Hey, Jody. I still have your card sitting here. I don't think you sent me your address yet. I could be wrong, but I, I don't remember seeing it. Hey, Julie. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Diana. Hey, Spice Girl. You love butterflies. Wish we had even more. I know. I'm really, really, really bummed about this stamp set leaving. This is one of my favorite stamp sets, and I have used it a million times. I even bought two because I liked it so much. And I wanted um, one set that was separated, so I cut this one apart. So it came as one whole stamp. So I have one that's the whole stamp and one that I cut apart. And I'm still crooked here. That's so weird. Let me see. I'm not sure which way I'm going. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. I'm better now. But I love this stamp. So I'm going, I'm pulling out some of my retired sets and I'm going, oh gosh, I got to use these one more time. I don't think I'm going to give this one away. I think I'm going to keep it because this is like the best butterfly set we've ever had, I think. So I'm going to keep it. Several sets I'm going to keep because they're so good. Um, let's see. Hey, Sue. Hey, Jude. I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Tony. I haven't seen you in a while either. Let me see. Hey, Debbie Davis. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Josie. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Ina. Hey, Paula. Hey, Susan. Hey, Robin. Oh, Robin. I just put your card in the envelope to go out tomorrow. Hey, Gladys. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Patricia. All right, so this is the car we're making. I don't know if you guys can see all the shimmer on it, but I put a lot of shimmer spray on this one and it is super sparkly. Um, I know it's just not showing up. It's just, everybody always says when they get a card in the mail, they're like, it's just so much better in person than it is on the camera. And I'm like, I know, you just can't see all the sparkle in per, I mean, on the camera, but it's so pretty. I made this card and I was just like, oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this is one of my favorite techniques. It's embossed resist, but it's with the twist because you're also stamping on there. So it really makes the um, embossing part just pop even more. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I did another card very similar to this long time ago with the Ranunculus Romance set. So you might wanna check that one out. It's from about a year ago. Um, same technique. Um, but different. Well, actually, I'm using the Ranunculus set today, and I was going to actually do almost the exact same card. <laughs> and I went back and looked, and I'm like, I think I did a card with this stamp set. So I changed it up to put the butterflies first, and then kind of did the Ranunculus in the background. So we're using both of them, but I'm using the, um, the like, these little flowers and the words from that, and then the butterflies as the main focal point. So... And I did die cut a butterfly to go like here, but it was just like too much and it took away from this. So I didn't put it there, but I did my favorite little bow and I'm really depressed about this ribbon going away too. I can't believe they're retiring this ribbon. 
This is my favorite ribbon here. These two together are like so cute. I love them. And I got tons and tons of happy mail today. Well, actually, I got this the last few days because I forgot to bring it last time. So let me show you all this. So this one is from um, oh, Karen. Let me see. Yep, Karen Mikowski. And she sent me this cute little card. She got one of my big boxes, those mystery boxes. And she said she loved it. And um, I just thought that was cute. That was one of my favorite stamp sets we had. Um, I think that was last, was it last year for celebration? I loved it. Loved it, loved it. And this one is from Twyla White. This is a cute card. That's the, what is that set? The posies, painted posies, I think. And she said, a note of thanks for all the great things you do. Love the jokes. Thank you, Twyla. And this is an Easter card from Deborah Marcunis. Thank you, Deborah. She said, thinking of you and wishing you all the beautiful blessings of Easter. Thank you. Now, this one is absolutely gorgeous. And I got a big long note in here. This one is from Vicki Kemp. And um, she sent this for my mother, actually. This was not for me. <laughs> so she said she sent two cards in the mail, but I only got this one. And I was like, man, the other one didn't come. So she did the napkin, uh, not the napkin, the dryer sheet technique. So I'm going to have to um, go watch a video and learn how to do this technique with the dryer sheet. But she said, if you don't like it, just throw it away. And I said, what? I said, this is gorgeous. I think it is so beautiful. But evidently she stamped it, colored it, and then put like a glue stick on top, then put a dryer sheet and then glitter. So, um... It sounds easy enough, but you can't even really tell there's like a dryer sheet on there, but I guess it just kind of like sinks into it. But I thought it was so cool. And then she sent me this long letter that I think that is like the most perfect little handwriting I've ever seen. But she said this is for my mom because she thought she was so cute and she's praying for her. And um, I think I told you guys she fell and she thought she broke her leg, but she didn't. She's okay. She just bruised it really bad, so... Um, and this one is from Wendy Biddle. So she's a girl who's local. And she was in the swap that we did the other day, but I didn't get hers because we, we only did 10 and there was more people than um, uh, we had cards for. So a couple you didn't get like a couple of the people's cards that were there. So I thought this was a beautiful card and I was bummed that I didn't get it. So thank you, Wendy, for sending that one. And then this one, oh, that's from somebody at work. That's not a stamped card. This one is from Char, Char Picard. Char Picard. And um, this one is beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. Let me see. I think it goes this way. Um, I don't know. It could go either way, but I think it goes this way. But I love it with that paper in the background. It's so pretty. Love it. Love it. And that gives me an eye idea for what to do with that. And I'm really bummed that this set's going to... They're getting rid of all my favorite sets. <laughs> I just am so sad. All right, so that's my happy mail. And then don't forget, um, oh, I have to tell you something. So um, what's the dryer set sheet technique? Well, I'm going to look it up because um, I think what it is, is you just stamp whatever you want on a piece of paper and color or whatever you want. Then you take a glue stick and you cover that. You put a dry, a, it has to be a used dryer sheet. And you put that on top and then kind of tape it around like we do with the um, the napkins. And it's kind of like the napkin technique. And then you put the, that around and then you sprinkle the glitter on top and it sticks. The, like the stickiness goes through the dryer sheet and the glitter sticks to it. So um, I'm going to have to go watch a video and kind of learn how to do it better. Because I've never made one myself. So... Um, I'm going to have to learn how to do that. And then I will show you guys how to do it. But anyway, so you know how I was saying, you know, they didn't start the sale last month, which really was awful because I had horrible sales last month and I was just bummed. And I really think they should have started it last month. But anyway, so the sale started today and I never do this, but I just happened to wake up at three o'clock in the morning 
and I had made my list last night after I got off work. I did a double yesterday, got home at like 930 and started making my list of what I wanted to get. And so we had the retiring list, which I wanted to get a few things off of that. And then we also had to order catalogs and then the pre-order stuff. And the pre-order stuff was like four pages of stuff we could order. And of course I ordered almost everything. But um, so we could start, start ordering that, you know, in the middle of the night too. So of course I woke up in the middle of the night and just started ordering. And I look at my phone and a lot of other people did the same thing because I had orders and they just like kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. And I could not believe it. Like my eyeballs were popping out of my head when I saw some of the orders I got. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, a million times thank you. Because this was the biggest one day I have ever had in my entire life as a demonstrator. And I earned the the um, trip for next year today. So I was like $4,000 away as of yesterday. <laughs> and I earned it today. So I, may, I, I did more today than I did the whole entire month last month. Actually, double what I did last month in one day. So I was like, yay, woohoo. So we need to have a sale like this every day. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that ordered. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. And you guys will get your card kits. Um, and some of you guys even ordered like two and three times in the same day. I'm not sure if that was to get more card kits or <laughs> I don't know. But I just thought it was funny because I, I would get an order and then about an hour later, I'd get another order. And then a couple hours later, I'd get another order. And several people did that. So I thought it was funny. So I don't know if you were just trying to do stuff and put it in before stuff sold out and then put another order in before stuff sold out. So this is the card kit for um, now through the 15th. If you order $50 or more, you'll get this kit. And then if it's $100 or more, you'll get a pack of gems. It will be one of these or something else. I don't know. I'm going to pull all the ones that are retiring and just pick one. So there you go. All right. So for this one, you, you only need a few pieces of paper, just a five and a half by eight and a half Orchid Oasis, two pieces of white, five and a quarter by four, one for the front and one for the inside. And then your two pieces for the words, three by one for the Orchid Oasis, two, th two and three quarters by three quarters for the white. So take a screenshot of that and we'll get started. Let me read a couple comments here. I went back after the um, live the other day and I was reading the comments and then I went to the um, analytics where you can look at different things and it tells you how many comments like were during the live. There was 684 comments during the live. I said, no wonder I can't read all the comments. You guys... <laughs> You guys leave a lot of comments. And then I realized right after I turned off the um, video that I forgot to put the rhinestones on the last card. And I was like, oh man. And then I saw like five people said, rhinestones, rhinestones. You were screaming rhinestones. Don't forget the rhinestones. And I'm like, oh, I missed that. <laughs> so we'll see if I can remember everything tonight. I tell you, it's hard to read and talk and stamp and all that stuff at the same time. So. Um, you deserve all the happy mail you get plus more. Oh, you're so sweet, Spice Girl. Oh, gosh. Who says, Annie, we have nine inches of snow. Is that today? Holy cow. We had 80 degrees today and sunny. It was the most beautiful day. Um, it was so gorgeous today. And I was off, but I was... Oh, I went to get a pedicure. I can tell you about that. And then I had a meet. Um, we had a like a work meeting lunch. That is crazy. I can't imagine if it was snowing here. Everything would be dying because everything is blooming. All the flowers are blooming. The dryer sheet shimmer would be pretty with the butterflies. Yep. Susan got up at one o'clock this morning, got everything on her list. Wow. That's so funny. I have um, one of my bosses, her name is Debbie Davis. And I just talked to her yesterday. 
Thank you, everybody, for the congratulations. You guys are so sweet. And I didn't even know till I just was adding it up. And I'm like, wait a minute. I think I earned the trip. And I went and double checked. And I'm like, I did. <laughs> I'm so excited. Vicky says, I don't get pedicures, no money, and can't see my feet. Anyway, I can see my feet, even though my stomach sticks out. No snow. All right, let's get started. You guys can keep on talking, though. No snow. We live in the desert. Hi, Deborah. We have, I think Deborah is the most common name on here. We must have like, oh, thanks, Starla. I think there must be 10 Debbies on this, this video. Because that is definitely the most common name on here. All right, so the two white pieces, well, three white pieces, actually. The words are going to go on here. So we're going to start, let's start with the Versa mark. So we'll just take one of the white pieces and do our Versa mark. And we're going to take a little piece of scrap paper to do that, just in case we go over the edge. So we're going to use the Versa mark, which is what I always use when I emboss, and two butterflies. And remember, I cut mine apart, so you guys don't have to do that, but um, I just did because I thought it was easier because I didn't want to use the whole entire thing every time I stamped with these butterflies. And I tell you, since I cut it apart, which was right after I got it almost, um, I kept the other set and then bought another one to cut it apart. I never have used the other set because <laughs> I like that. I like it better cut apart. All right, so I didn't bring in a Boston buddy, but we're just going to hope that it did. I didn't get fingerprints anywhere. All right, so you're going to stamp um, a couple times with the big one and a couple times with the little one. And I know you can't see it. Look how gross my pad is. This pad, I think, is probably 20 years old. And it still works great. I just re-ink it, and it just stays perfect. And then I'm going to do the little one a couple times. So we'll do the little one. And you can tell it's working if it's sticky. All right, so there we go. And then you want to put your embossing powder on there right away. So we're just going to take that. And hope we don't spill it. Because you know I'm prone to that. Oh, I do have a little bit sticking on here. You can scoop it if you want to. I like to just kind of do this. Okay, a little bit. I need my little brush. I always forget to bring the little paintbrush in here to get off the extras. Just remember, use your embossing, buddy. That's what it's for, so you don't have fingerprints on there. I just put lotion on right before I started this video. That's why I got little fingerprints that it sticks to. So don't use lotion when you're embossing. Just a tip for you. But my hands are always so dry. All right, so now we're gonna heat it up. I got my handy foil thingy. So, you know, this is just a piece of cardboard, like a box that I ripped off, and then I put tin foil on it just to heat it so it heats up from the back and it makes it melt faster and it keeps the paper from curling up. So let me heat it, warm it up real quick. And then, oops, there's a piece right there too. Okay. I think it's still so cool watching embossing powder melt. All right, and then when you think it's all melted, go over it one more time really quick just to make sure it's all melted. All 
All right. So that's good. And then I'll let that cool for just a minute. All right. So, so there you go. So you can see those embossed on there. It's very light, but they're going to show up like really good in just a minute. So now what we're going to do is go through with the darkest color, which is the starry sky. And we're going to do all the stamping. Oops. All right. So we're going to start with the butterfly, the big butterfly. And this is a different butterfly. So we're just going to ink this up and stamp kind of in the white areas a little bit. So I'm going to stamp one over here and then one there. And then I want to do one like right in the middle. Okay. And that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to leave it at that. All right. So we're done with the butterfly and then I want to do the words. And for some reason, my words come out crooked, so I gotta remember they tilt this way. So I need to tilt this way a little bit. So let's see. So we're just gonna put a few of these on here. There we go. And then we're going to put a few of the little flowers and just kind of fill in. And it doesn't matter if you overlap some things, it's still going to be beautiful. It's hard to mess this up because then once you sponge, you're not going to see if you mess up anything. And okay, let's do one more like. So there we go. Beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful. Oops, I need the scrap paper still. All right, so now we're going to sponge. So you just want to make sure all the colors, oops, we got to do the words too, I forgot. So the words will go on our little teeny piece here. So you just want to make sure all your colors that you're sponging with are lighter than the color that you stamped with. All right, so there's my happy birthday. All right, so we're done stamping. Now we're just going to start sponging with the blends or blending. So I've got my blending brushes. We're gonna start with the lightest color, which is Coastal Cabana. So oh, some of these look the same color. All right, so I'm gonna do Coastal Cabana. Just kind of, oh, what's in here? Paper towel. I wanna use a paper towel so you don't get your fingerprints on here. So we're just gonna go kind of in random areas. And you can already see that the butterflies just start popping out. They look so cool. I love embossed resist. It's definitely one of my favorite techniques. Oops, I just bent my paper. I'll turn it around and get some over here. I was gonna use Bermuda Bay and I couldn't even find my pad. And I have like three Bermuda Bay pads and I couldn't find one of them. All right, so then we're gonna switch colors and go to Tahitian Tide, which is this one. This is one of the newer colors. And just kind of put that wherever. I know you can't see anything because I'm covering it up. <laughs> but it'll pop out in a minute. So I'm kind of covering the whole thing, but then the darker color will go over just part of it. Oh, just love these colors. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so then we're gonna go over with the darker color 
which is the Orchid Oasis. So this one you just kind of want to put in a few areas, but it looks really good around the butterflies. Oh, just love these colors together. Maybe just a teeny bit more. Ugh, keep bending that piece right there. Okay, so I think we're good. What do you guys think? And then last thing you do is just wipe off the butterflies. So you want to get off any excess ink that is stuck to the embossing part. Because sometimes if there's ink, it'll just sit right on top of the white part. Okay. See how pretty those just pop? I love it. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to sponge. Ah, I forgot to stamp the inside too. All right. So we've got to stamp the inside. We're going to do that with the butterfly. Oh, you guys are letting me forget stuff again. All right. We're going to stamp the butterfly right here on the corner. And then we need to sponge that too. Is anybody yelling at me? You forgot, you forgot. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> I just tapped it and the screen got huge and all the comments went away. Oh, this is beautiful and you aren't even done. Thank you, Susan. I have made, I have more cards made than I know people. <laughs> I'm still upset that someone didn't like Lisa's laugh. I know that. That is crazy. Lisa's laugh is the best and you can't help but be happy when in her presence. That is exactly right, Karen. You are exactly right. <laughs> That's what I say. If you reheat the embossing, I think that helps bring back the shine again a bit more. Oh, I never thought about doing that. I've never heard that before. Hmm. I have to try that. Isn't that cool? I know it's so cool how they just like magically appear. It's like the coolest thing ever. All right, so we're gonna just sponge a little bit of color. I probably have enough left on the um, blending brushes. So let's put just a little bit of those. There we go. So we just have a little bit on there and we need to do the words a little bit too because we don't want the words to be left out. Let's give them a little bit of turquoisey look. Love it. All right, so there we go. All right, so we're all done with the stamping. All right, so we're gonna put it together. So this goes on the inside. Let me see if I can find a glue that works. I have like four almost empty glues here. <laughs> Almost all in. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> we got a squirt. Spread it out. There we go. Got a little too much going. Okay. Put that inside. Oh, I didn't finish telling you about my pedicure. So I was meet. We had a um, supervisor lunch meeting at this place called Pirate's Cove, which is this little seafood restaurant that is so good. It's like a little hole in the wall, but it's so good. And uh, so the place I get my pedicures done is like in the same shopping center, just like kind of on the other side. So I was like, I'm gonna go over there and get my pedicure done before I go um, have the meeting. So I went early, cause I didn't know if it would be busy or not. And um, it wasn't too busy. So I get the pedicure and um, the guy did like a fabulous job. And so I go sit under the thing and I hate that little thing they put in between your toes, you know? And so it was bugging me. So I took it out. And when I took it out, I screwed up my whole pedicure. It like, I got nail polish all over my hand cause it wasn't dry yet. 
but I didn't say anything because I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to make him redo it. <laughs> I felt so bad. <laughs> and I was like, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> but I, t I always take my own nail polish because if I ever messed it up or if it chips or anything, I like to be able to fix it. So I just fixed it later, but I was like, dang, he did a perfect job. And now I messed it up. And then I just sat there like hiding it because I didn't want him to know I screwed it up. <laughs> All right, so there's the front. And I really love this card. And it's super easy too. It's not even hard, even though it looks like it is. All right, we're gonna put this on with dimensionals. I got a cute joke for you. And we're going to put this over to the side so that we can put the ribbon right there. All right, so we're going to make one of my favorite bows today. I didn't even do it ahead of time for you so you could watch. Because I know you like watching me make a bow. All right, so you just get the two of them together and just tie a little bow. Just like this. Lisa, did you just make this up? Yes, I did. I basically... Um, was thinking that I wanted to do this technique because it's one of my favorite techniques. And I was looking back through the cards that I'd made before because I wanted to do Ranunculus Romance. And, you know, I was thinking I needed to use some stamp sets that were retiring. And I went back through my videos and I had already done this exact same card pretty much with Ranunculus Romance. So I said, well, I'll just switch it and put the butterflies there. So it's almost the exact same card, except it's with the butterflies in the front so yes I did think of it myself you will not find this card anywhere else all right so there we go pretty much all my cards are original I mean occasionally there might be a little similarity between somebody's and mine but most of my cards are pretty much totally original um Then we're just going to stick that on with the glue dot right on the corner. And then we've got some rhinestones. I might have to turn my air conditioner on tonight. It's getting really warm in the house. It was, I, I think it was 82 in my car. It was only supposed to be like 77 today. But I think it got a lot warmer. And then we're going to put a couple on the butterflies. All right, so there you go. And then we gotta do, of course, some shimmer spray. Let me get my scrap paper back. And we're gonna squirt the sucker. Oh, love it. All right, so. I know you can't see that shimmer, but it is on there. It's so pretty. I'll put it really close. Lisa's laugh makes me laugh. Can you see it? I can't see it. I can see it in front of me, but I can't see it on the camera. Love, love, love. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Vicky says, I belong to another team, but I always cheat and come here. <laughs> you guys are always welcome here. Anybody can watch. Let me go back. Oh, the best laugh is from Texas. She is stamping share. She goes, <laughs> she is funny because she does have a really um, distinct laugh. <laughs> she, every time I watch her, she does have that same laugh. It's like, <laughs> she makes me laugh too. She is funny. She's very funny. I love her. Oh, wish I could get a pedicure. Messing up your nail polish is as bad as finishing your card, dropping the ink pad. I know it. At least you can fix your nail polish, though. It wasn't that bad. It was basically just my big toe. So I just came home and fixed it. Can I name the stamps I use for this card? So it's um, Butterfly Brilliance is the butterflies, and Ranunculus Romance is the background part. Um, 
Oh, Nicole, it's oh seven thirty in the morning in um, Aust or is that Australia? Perth is Australia, I think. Ah, uh, that's so weird that it's tomorrow. Uh, love the blue paper in the new catalog, Countryside Inn. Oh yeah, I ordered some of that. I did order that. Yep. Um, let's see. Ruth would just use her finger and move the excess glue around. Ew, then you can get like glue all over your finger. Mm, I wouldn't do that. Oh, don't forget to give me thumbs up. We gotta do thumbs up and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff too. Oh, let me do my joke. You ready for the joke? Hold on, let me pull it up. I used to print these jokes out and now I just pull them up so I, could, I was wasting too much paper. Hold on, let me pull it up for you. Would this concept work as a one sheet wonder? It would, of course it would. That'd be a great idea. Um, yeah, you would just have to do it, you know, four times as much, but just do the whole paper like that. That'd really be pretty. That's a good idea. I haven't done a one sheet wonder in a long time. Maybe I'll do a one sheet wonder um, next time or time. I think next time, Thursday, I've already got a card planned out. So maybe Saturday night, I'll do a one sheet wonder. Um, Texas gal does have a special laugh. <laughs> she does. <laughs> but it's funny because every time she laughs, it's exactly the same. She has like, it's really high pitched the first part. And then it's like the, the, the last part goes the same. It's so funny. Every time I watch her, I start laughing. Yeah, she's, she's funny. I love her. All right. So here is the joke. You ready? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome to flight 293 nonstop from London to New York. The weather ahead is good, so we should have an uneventful flight. So sit back, relax, and oh, my God. Silence followed, complete silence. Some minutes later, the captain came back on the intercom. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry if I scared you. While I was talking to you, a flight attendant accidentally spilled coffee in my lap. You should see the front of my pants. From the back of the plane, an Irish passenger yelled, for the love of Jesus, you should see the back of mine. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> oh, I just think these jokes are so funny. <laughs> okay, you want another one? This is a really fast one too. I asked old Maud how she lost her husband. She told me her sad story. Well, he needed a blood transfusion, but his blood type was not on record. So the doctors asked me if, if I knew what it was, as they urgently needed to know in order to save my Norman's life. Tragically, I've never known his blood type, so I only had time to sit and say goodbye. I'll never know. I'll never forget how supportive my Norman was. Even as he was fading away, he kept on whispering to me, be positive, be positive. That was my Norman, always thinking of others. <laughs> I hope you like those jokes. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. <laughs> William says, yeah, like holy crap. <laughs> mm. Excuse me. Great jokes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, poor Norman. I know. Be positive. Be positive. Uh, what do you call a nun that sleepwalks? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what do you call a nun that sleepwalks? Dad joke. Well, you got to tell us the answer, Vicky. <laughs> a Roman. Oh, a Roman Catholic. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh all right. Well, thank you guys for joining me so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you for all the orders today. I really, really appreciate all of you guys. And thanks for joining me and making my day great. I love the company and just love chatting with you guys. <laughs> oh, Jules says, I'm a nurse. Can't wait to share your blood transfusion joke with my colleagues. That's funny. Night was too short. Sorry, you guys. I'll try to make a longer one next time. Starless laughing. All right. I will be back Thursday with another video for you guys. So take care, everybody. And um, be safe and healthy. And love you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.